Turbocharging. Reasons for turbocharging, turbocharger components and lubrication, pulse and constant pressure turbocharging, pulse converter, surging, matching the turbocharger to the engine, lambda controller. Reasons for turbocharging, this will increase the power for an engine of the same size. Or in the other words it will reduce the size for an engine with the same output, it will reduce specific fuel oil consumption, due to the shorter burning period for the fuel, thermal loading is reduced. Turbocharger basic components, the compressor impeller, this is a radial centrifugal type, air is drawn through the filter silencer to the eye of the compressor impeller, where low pressure area is generated by the spinning compressor. It is then accelerated to the ferropery of the impeller, where it leaves with high velocity. Impeller material is aluminium alloy or titanium. Aluminium impellers have a limited life, due to creep, which is decided by the final air temperature. Turbine Turbine rotates the compressor impeller using exhaust gas. Turbine blades are usually nickel chrome alloy or nimonic material, which has good resistance to creep, fatigue, and corrosion. Blade roots are of fir tree shape which gives positive fixing, the root is usually a slack fit to allow for differential expansion of the rotor, blade lacing wire is there to damp and the vibration, there are two types of turbochargers, they are axial flow type and radial flow type, the names came to them because of the turbine design, axial flow turbine, after the nozzle ring. Gas moving with high velocity is directed to the turbine blades as the gas changes the direction due to the blade profile, a force is imparted onto the blade causing it to turn the turbine wheel, radial flow turbine, turbine nozzles work in the similar way as in the axial flow type, that is pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy, and the gas is directed onto the turbine wheel as the gas passes through the turbine wheel. It changes direction and this change of direction produce an impulsive force which turns the wheel. Diffuser, once air leaves from compressor, it passes through the diffuser, diffuser consists with vanes as shown, due to the configuration, air slows down when it leaves the diffuser, that is there is a conversion from kinetic energy to pressure energy. Nozzle ring, the nozzle ring has to be resistant to high temperatures and corrosion. It is fabricated from a creep resistant chromium nickel alloy, heat resisting molychrome nickel steel or nimonic alloy. The cross sectional area of each nozzle decreases as the exhaust gas passes through a dot because of this gas is forced to speed up. Kinetic energy will increase through this and pressure and heat energy will decrease. Labyrinth seals Labyrinth seals are fitted to the shaft and casing to prevent leakage of exhaust gas into the turbine end bearing or to prevent oil being drawn into the compressor, a labyrinth arrangement is also fitted to the back of the compressor impeller to restrict the leakage of air to the gas side, to assist sealing effect, air from the compressor volute casing is supplied. Bearings, there are sleeve type, ball or roller type and thrust bearings used in turbochargers, sleeve type bearings. Generally these bearings are mounted at the center of the shaft and these bearings are lubricated by a separate external lubricating system, ball or roller bearings, normally ball or roller bearings are located at the end of the shaft, they are fitted in resilient mountings incorporating spring damping to prevent damage due to vibration, these bearings have their own integral oil pumps and oil supply, compressor and bearing must be able to take the thrust. You can practice this simple sketches for the examinations. There are two main different methods of turbocharging, pulse system, constant pressure system, mostly slow speed crosshead engines utilize the constant pressure system and medium speed four stroke trunk piston engines utilize the pulse system. The pulse system, pulse system utilizes the kinetic energy and heat energy in the exhaust gas to drive the turbocharger small diameter pipes with smoothly curved bends, used to maintain exhaust gas pressure and to avoid energy loss, the exhaust valve may be timed to open slightly earlier to increase the energy in exhaust gas pulse, to prevent exhaust gas pulses interfering each other groups or cylinders are connected separately, to sections of the turbocharger nozzles, advantages of pulse system, very responsive to engine load changes, because of that, 
Electrical generator engines use this, auxiliary blowers not required to use in this engine. The constant pressure system, exhaust gas from all the cylinders is discharged into a common manifold of large volume, the exhaust gas is maintained at a steady pressure rather than intermittent, so it leads to greater efficiency at high loads. Auxiliary electrical driven blowers used to supply air for low load conditions, advantages of the constant pressure system, because there is no need to supply a pulse of exhaust gas to the turbocharger, the exhaust gas can be timed to open later in the engine cycle, resulting in longer power stroke, this gives good engine performance at high loads, no exhaust pipes grouping required. Pulse converter Pulse converters come in the pulse exhaust systems, exhaust pipes connect to the turbine through this devices, at part load condition exhaust pressure at the entrance of turbine is less, less energy of exhaust gas at part load condition need external devices for the efficient utilization of energy, so that's why use pulse converter in the system. Pulse converter partly converts the kinetic energy into pressure energy but still retains the pulse energy entering the turbocharger. The design of pulse converter makes the least transmission of pressure pulse from one of the exhaust pipe to another, because of that, it avoids one cylinder's exhaust pipe breaks another cylinder's scavenging process. These devices mostly use in medium speed engines, especially for, 8. 16 cylinder engines. Surging. Surging happens when the engine cannot use the air at the rate it is being delivered, or if the pressure differential between suction and discharge is too high, then the pressure of the air drops in the diffuser, and then the air surges back through the compressor wheel. Let's see how surging occurs. Consider an air particle. In normal operation, air is discharged from the compressor wheel with a velocity a and this combined with the rotary velocity, b, both of these giving resultant velocity and direction, c, as shown in the figure, diffuser vanes are matched to this air direction, at position a a, the velocity of air is d, which is almost equal to, c, area increases through the diffuser vanes, at, b b, due to increase of area, velocity decreases to e, the energy converted from kinetic energy into pressure energy. If there is restriction in the airflow velocity, A, will be reduced, rotary velocity remains same. The direction of resultant, C, changes and also D, now the air direction not match with diffuser vanes, because of this turbulences in the diffuser generates, the effective area through the diffuser will not increase as before, then less energy conversion occurs. At a certain point the pressure built up in the air manifold will blow back through the compressor causing surge in turbocharger revolutions, the noise and vibration. Let's see how to match the turbocharger to the engine. The green color lines showing the constant speed lines of turbocharger, from there we can see how the pressure is varying with the air flow rate, surge line is produced by connecting the peak pressures. Consider a point for a particular compressor speed at the left side of the surge line. If air flow is reduced for a particular compressor speed, there is a reduction in pressure. Once the delivered pressure falls below the pressure of scavenge manifold, then flow reversal will occur and surging takes place. When matching the turbocharger to the engine there must be enough safety margin in between surge line and engine operating line so that in the event of a change in engine operating conditions under normal operation, surging will not take place, and also if the engine operating line is too far from the surge line, the efficiency of turbocharger will be dropped. Lambda controller one of the engine manufacturer using this to prevent injection of more fuel in the combustion chamber than can be burned during a momentary load increase. This is carried out by controlling the relation between the fuel index and the charge air pressure. Thank you and good luck, hope to see you in my next video.